Hi folks, this is Chris from CDR Guns and in this video we're just going to have a quick look at the Air Max fill valve system. It's a very simple device, it is just a T10 screw with an O-ring. O-ring size is 3.5 internal diameter, 1.5 cross section, MBR90 material. You can see it quite clearly here in the Catran cylinder unit. And if I get the angle just right on the lighting, then you can see just about that it's in the bottom of the crate front block there. It's easier to work and see on the Catran one. Now if you get a leak from this, normally it'd be because there's some debris. So, easiest way to check that. Pop it off, give it a good clean up, and then inspect the condition of it. If it looks all right, you can put it back in. If it looks like there's deterioration, then swap it out for another one. As you can see, you just undo the T10 screw. If you have had a leak from debris, I would recommend that you also clean out the channel. As you can see there is a channel there. And my, my method for doing that is to pop the fill probe in, like so, and then give it a quick blast. That will ensure that there is nothing in there. You can then, having given a careful inspection to your O-ring, which hopefully the autofocus will pick up. Autofocus will pick up. Nope, autofocus is not going to play for us. But basically, once you've inspected it, made sure it's all good and solid. You can pop it back onto the screw and then I may have to go off camera for this because I don't know how well it's going to play nicely. Oh, the earring fell off. But... There we go. It's going back in and basically you, you want to go until you start to feel a little bit of tension. And then once, once you're gently fingertip tight, come back a quarter turn, and there you have it. That is the assembly completely rebuilt nicely. If you need to unscrew the fill valve like this from your Catran tube rifle, then make sure it's completely empty and use something like a 6mm pin drift or a large allen key just in the inlet port there and you can just unscrew it for leverage if you've got one of the bottle rifles or like a crate then once you unscrew the bottle again make sure the rifle's completely empty you should just be able to see the screw right there in front of you on the crate there is a bottle mount which is easily removed using a 4mm allen key I've got one handy but with that out of the way, you have better access to that screw. Hopefully you found this useful. We'll see you in the next one.